Ibsen's got a good question since we're talking about insanity. Do you really think the WWE will get sold to the Saudis? Uh, I don't really know that to be true. I don't think so. I, I, I don't know anything than anybody else, but if you're asking what I think, uh, I, I read that last night and today, and uh, I, I just haven't heard anybody confirm it. So who knows? Uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't sound like it will happen to me. So the Saudi public investment firm who have uh, their hand in a lot of things, Uber, a uh, ton of video games. Wait, 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 wait. They have their hands in Uber. Oh, over yeah. here, Uber. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, they own they own a piece of almost everything. If you really look at it, video games, uh, or or app apps on the phone, Live Golf. I mean, they own a lot of things over here. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that the Saudis could, you know, could be a part think, of this. And Vince is obviously a great relationship. But I don't think anything's out of the realm of possibility. I just haven't heard anything concrete, and I don't think. I I don't I. <laughs> I don't believe anything until I read it or, or hear it and it's and it's done. It's signed over or whatever they have to do. But uh yeah, it could uh, it anything could happen. Anything is possible. I just don't feel it. But it could be wrong. Certainly could be wrong. Uh Paco here has got a question. This <laughs> Vince McMahon is back. <laughs> What would happen with the fate of WB had they been owned by Saudi Arabia? I think they just carry on and Vince is the boss, right? Yeah, exactly. You would think? I, I don't think I don't think anything would change yeah. immediately anyway. Um, no telling. I, I think those guys would leave it to the ones who know how to run a business and have been doing it for a long time. I don't know anybody else who can do it the way WWE does it. Last night on Twitter, I mean, it was it was crazy, all the stuff that was going on, um, a few of the different sites, a few uh, good reporters, too, reporting monstrous deal. They heard from the, their source the, this monstrous deal. Um, even other reporters didn't report it, but they were saying they were also hearing the same thing about this crazy monster deal, that that would mean that Vince could go private. You know, he could avoid some of these lawsuits that are now, now coming out because they're public and the shareholders are going after them. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad of an idea if, if they did get owned by the Saudis. Vince still owns a percentage. He runs the company. And then obviously maybe you pass, pass it down to his kids. Maybe not, though, because Stephanie just quit. But maybe not. But it seems like they could go private again and not need public money. I think... Just Vince coming back and making a splash again and, and uh, blatantly coming in saying, we need three seats. All right, you guys move. <laughs> We're taking these seats. That that alone says everything, uh, that anything is possible. And everybody thought, including myself, that Vince was done. And here he comes. And uh, he... He's not afraid to make the moves for what he believes in and and sell the company if that's the intent. Why not, man? He's he's uh it's a crazy time. It's an interesting time to, to watch all these things happen, but God only knows where it's gonna end up. I I I've gotta wonder how the guys there are feeling right now. I don't think it would really affect anybody immediately by any stretch of imagination, but who knows? I certainly don't. Yeah, it was being reported out there that some of the guys would be wanting to quit if it was true that they were owned by the Saudis. Or, you know, obviously the Saudis would own them, but Vince would be running things. A lot of them would be interested in quitting. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but that was out there as a rumor as well. Well, I, once again, I think if you're not happy where you're at, you're never going to be happy. So if you have to quit because of the way you feel about who owns your, the company you work for, then that makes perfect sense. But then where are you going to go and what's going to happen? Uh, so I don't know. So it was so interesting that he was retired. He was, he's gone. He, you know, he's out for five, six months. He retired, you know, Oh yeah. What happened? All of a sudden he's back. A few of the board members are fired. He says he intends to sell. Don't know if he actually means he intends to sell or if he just said that to gain more power and more leverage. But the fact that he said that, the stock shot all the way up to about $90. So the stock shot up about 25%. So this whole time, people thought he was retired. 
I don't think he was retired. It seemed like he had a plan because he came back with Wilson and Barrios, his two former, uh, you know, high level executives that he was very comfortable with for years. And obviously, we we know Jerry McDivitt was involved as well. He definitely was was helping Vince kind of to get back into the fold here in in the in the board of directors as well. So, what an interesting you know few days or whatever you want to say here in 2023 already for Vince in the WB. Why wouldn't Vince do everything in his power to get what he wants. Um, it, it it it's making a it's making a lot more sense why we didn't hear a whole lot of rumblings from Vince until now because he was laying the groundwork, obviously. Yeah. So uh, I don't know where that leaves all the current executives or or all the people in power, except I don't think they would make drastic moves overnight immediately just like this i think it would be one of those things they would evaluate again the landscape and wonder where everybody fits because you want the guys who have been running the company successfully in charge uh i i don't know i haven't heard the latest on what triple h's spot might entail i know stephanie has resigned uh, I just saw a deal before we came on the air about Regal coming back and being the uh, being in charge of talent development overseas or talent development global, whatever it may be. Yep. So well, you don't want to do too many shakeups because then you're going to get utter chaos. I think. Yeah. At the same time, I don't know, man. It's uh, it is one of those things you should never ever, or I didn't think would happen. Certainly. Rumar says, wouldn't shock me if Triple H is the next to step down. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know if I'd be shocked either. Um, but you want a guy like Triple H around. You really yeah. do, because he does know the business. He is a student of the game. He does know what he's doing. Now, I also heard that he would be demoted. That was uh, something that I heard, that he would never be fired, but he would be demoted is what was thrown out there. Who knows what's true and what's not true, but yeah. I could see that. But if, if you're, quote, unquote, demoted, but you're still in charge of talent relations, I don't know how much of a demotion that really is. You're really just not in charge of creative anymore. Vince is kind of taking it. I guess in, in a sense it's a demotion, but he would still, I heard, be, be in charge of talent relations. So. Yeah, and and is Vince going to take over creative? Is that what's being reported it, that he's? It seems like he's kind of, I don't know, not laying the groundwork, but it just seems like that would be <sighs> his thing. Oh, I'm going to take this over, then I'm now I'm going to take creative back over. It just seems like that might be the the next step in this evolution here. Well, I think we should all grab our popcorn and watch. It's going to be a lesson. Uh, hey, Phil. Good evening. It's going to be a lesson for uh, everyone to, to study, uh, and, and it'll go down in some kind of business book, I'm sure, case study of how they, this this happened, and you know, just just the out and out balls to come back and say, look, this is what we're going to do, and I still own the majority of stock, and we're going to do it my way. So you got to give him credit for that. You got to give him give Vince credit for not just laying over, laying down and rolling over. He still wants his uh, his company back, and he wants to sell it or whatever he wants to do. Nobody's really heard from Vince personally, have they? They haven't uh, actually put a uh, yeah, have a direct quote from Vince or anybody in charge or anybody who really knows. They they have sources, unnamed sources, telling reporters and other people about all this stuff but i i don't believe anything until and i don't know what to think when when i hear about sources because you can get thrown off the the trail by that that information too but if it is sold to saudi arabia well then people have a lot of soul searching to do i guess huh yeah oh my yeah. god yeah yep sure with that, though, it's it's interesting because it's one of those things where it's like Vince isn't saying much, but Stephanie quit, but he did put out a little presser saying, thank you, Stephanie, for holding down the fort uh, you know, while, while I was away. And, and now Nick Khan is the sole CEO. Nick Khan, thank you. You're going to help us with media rights and, and this and that. And he also 
put a letter out to the board, which was made public, that he said no sale or media rights can be negotiated without me because I'm 81% in charge of the board. This is my company. I'm still the owner. So right. nothing is able to be done without me. Then, boom, all of a sudden he's back in power at the board because literally you won't be able to do anything without him. So he had said a few things, but obviously nothing about sale, just that he intends to make uh, all the shareholders a, a ton of money, sale or not. He kind of went either way with it. Right. And, and as, as well as you should. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.